All right, guys, uh, today we got a we got a signature event finals number three here. So they were tied up, uh, red one and then blue one. So here we are. This is the Wuxi signature final. Uh, final. And uh, this match went, was 25 to 21 with red winning. So anyways, this this Auton is going for the gold. And red having a little bit more rings on that on that full goal there. So you no know, both both teams are actually in a great position here. Red, I, I'm, I'm assuming they cleared that corner already. Their teammate did. I let's right. So all they have to do is just you know turn around, plop that go in, and grab this other one right. And their teammate can just play a screen right while while trying to steal their goal. And we saw this at Sugar Rush a lot recently uh, lately. White right? was where your teammate has to you know play that play the choke point and just you know prevent the other team from coming to steal your goals. And then you would just you know plop your 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 goal right in auto, which has been filled to in the positive corner and then grab the other one right so let's see what they did we, we saw a lot of screens being played at, at the at the the sugar rush event right if you watch uh, the elims i think that happened a lot but in this match here right i think if blue wanted to you know retain this three goal advantage this lead all they have to do is just sit here in the in this corner in this choke point right and then make sure red can't get through them and then if their teammates fast then get that that swap and yeah, let's see what happens. Are they gonna count it down? Let's see. And as as they as they start, yeah, as they start, like I said, red is gonna dash right away to go steal a blue goal, right? It's, they kind of need that. So, and and blue's gonna try to play the screen, right? And, and, and it works. And it works okay. But however, they didn't really try to put that full goal into the positive corner. They were like, hey, we're gonna knock it over instead, and then they're gonna they're gonna get this alliance stick that they missed in auto. So now now. Now it's going to be very hard for, for Red to take that third goal, right? It's completely filled and it's flipped over. But what they can do is they can take that positive corner, and, and they didn't do that for some reason. I think they they were in the corner here, and they should have just held it. If they just held it, they they for sure they would have, uh, they would have secured the match. But yeah, they're, they could have they could have just held that corner. And now, I mean, holding this is not bad either because Blue, what does Blue have to do to get that goal in the corner? They have to turn around. So if you're in this position, right? Where you're, what, what, the team you're defending is facing inwards into the corner. The goal's outside. Just hold them in there, right? Like, what, like the worst that can happen is they have to come out, and then you can just go in there, and then you have the corner. So, definitely, very advantage. Reds in a very advantageous position right now. Even though I'm, I don't know if they. I, I think I think they may have. I think they may have won auto as well. I don't exactly remember. But here, blue gets a per, gets a really good steal, and the red gets that steal too. Right, you know, I think they were they were playing. Let's see what they're doing. I think they were playing wall stick, right? leaving a little too far. I think they should have gone back earlier, right? Whenever they saw blue, any like here, I think they would have made it in time. But they were they were a little slow there, and blue does a great drop of their of their goal. But also, in this case, whenever they they, they drop that goal, now red has possession of their goal, right? So I think that's a that's a small mistake, but here. Here, what Red needs to do is they need they, they need to go back into the positive corner, drop that blue goal, push their goal into the corner, and just protect it with the blue goal, right? And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they do here. They, uh, they call their teammate to do that instead, and now they're just you know, running around holding onto that blue goal, waiting for the waiting for the ne negative corner. They're gonna play some ball sticks, as well. And and you know the the two other teams are now gonna gonna try to fill up those the, the remaining goals and put it into the corners. Right, solid strategy here, but you know it's not not incredible, not like as clean as some of the matches I've seen before. And you know, as blue gets that D score, that's pretty impressive. That was a quick D score. I think it was around here. Yeah, they got a double. They got a double D score right there. You know, red, red tries to go defend them, and blue's gonna still that like, go back, right? So it's definitely, but but also red's gonna steal another goal. How did this happen? This is interesting. Well, yeah. So whenever, whenever this blue team, right? Because whenever you you leave for for an opportunity, many times you're opening another opportunity right up, right? And that's exactly what happens here. This blue team from the positive corner, they leave to get that that steal right there, and red goes in and steals their goal. So right, uh, just and that was just basically that was basically just a just a even trade, right? I think they might have gained two points from that, but 
no, they didn't get a single point. That was just an even, completely even trade, right? So I think what what should be happening here is that this blue team, right? Whenever it hits 15 seconds, they should be dashing to the positive or negative corners to make sure no one can be in those negative corners, right? To make sure that that, that that's not going to happen. I think even they should leave at like 17 seconds, right? Two seconds. I don't know if that's enough time for, for Red to, to get there. So I think they should be leaving a little early, right? Really trying to maintain those negative corner control, right? Right here. He gets into there. Another blue team gets in there. And now it's over for Red, right? I do wonder how, how they get it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> blue fumbles the match. So yeah, they do do that right, and all they have to do now is just stay in these corners, and they should have the match won right because they have the they have the negative red goal, and then there's no negative blue goal right right now at least, but then they leave, they leave the corner, right? <laughs> what are they doing? I think I think they they realize that that red drops the goal and they think they can't push it into the corner, but then they just like leave an opening and red just pushes into the corner and they just fumble the sig. But yeah, that's how you that's how you lose a signature event, guys. Don't do that. And here, there's last second defense here for Blue is also, I think that also could have been, could have DQ'd them if, if, if they had a winning score. Because I'm pretty sure Red touched right here. And they pushed him off that, that hang. But yeah, GG.